Hey everyone, how's it going? So we're gonna go ahead and install Rasa NLU and Core, or Rasa X as they're starting to call it, uh, onto your system. But before that, you're gonna have to install Anaconda, which allows you to um, use Python on your Windows 10 computers and, and other environments. So it's ultimately creating a virtual environment for you. So standardize kind of all the different software packages. So we're gonna go ahead and install or we're gonna assume that you've already installed Anaconda. If you haven't, there's another video I've created where you can uh, catch how to do this stuff and install it on your Windows 10 computer. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that you've done this and then we're gonna create a Anaconda environment. So we have to give it a name. We'll give it Rasa as a name and then Python 3.7 and We'll go ahead and install that stuff. Sorry, not install, but we'll get that environment created. So once it's created, we will go ahead and watch it kind of install. I won't make you go through the drudgery of watching this all install, so I'll pause the video for right now and resume it as soon as it is all finished. All right, so this Anaconda environment installation is wrapping up. Um, just again, as a few notes, if you don't remember why we use Anaconda, it's ultimately a virtual environment. Uh, so that way it allows you to keep Python files, directories, and paths kind of in an isolated area so it doesn't affect other Python projects that you're working on. Because uh, you're going to have different packages, you're going to have different versions of packages, and they can all start causing a big headache uh, if you have, you know, if you're using Python, you know, 2.5 for one and 3.7 for another one. Uh, you'll go through all kinds of headaches. That's why you create different virtual environments. Um, we're installing all the latest stuff. Uh, luckily for us, Rasa does support many of the latest packages, so we did benefit from that. Um, as it keeps finishing up, I will wait and then I'll continue the video as soon as this is all complete so we can go into the RASA installation steps next. Alright, so there were two prompts that on my Windows 10 computer that uh, made me approve actions for Python, so you might encounter these as you're installing it. I just thought I'd give you a quick note. Um, so you don't panic or anything like that for you all that are new to using Anaconda and Python environments or virtual environments. All right, as you can set, tell, we've created the Anaconda environment um, on Windows 10 for Rasa. Um, well, actually for any Python project, this we installed the latest one. Um, so you'll be lucky enough to follow this process and, and set it all up. Now, let's jump into the next step, installing Rasa, the fun part. So let's go ahead and activate our Anaconda environment first. Where we, we named it Rasa. So we're already there. Now, let's go into where we made the folder. And let's go ahead and install everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through this process. It may take a couple minutes. I'm gonna pause it again and continue as soon as it's all finished. All right, we have installed it. So now let's execute Ross X and cross our fingers and hope everything works. Oops, I forgot about this step. So let's initialize it first and then we can get going. Luckily we had already selected a directory before, so let it do its thing and install. This popped up just FYI for all y'all. Go ahead and execute Rasa X. It'll pop up a 
screen and show you this then you just go ahead and accept it now we have rasa and lu executing something went wrong Copy this over and execute it on Chrome. Usually I'm a Chrome person, so let's go ahead and copy the login. Perfect. You don't have to really press that, I usually do it. So now you can tell everything's working. You can talk to the bot, you can have different conversations to check out. You have your models, you have your training stuff your responses to different intents stories you can structure here as well with the GUI interface and any other additional configuration details and you can retrain the system so Rasa X has really cleaned up the whole look of creating the chatbot and make it simplified so hopefully this instructional video helps you get to this step pretty quickly in the next few videos, I'm going to cover how you can advance your RASA chatbot in different ways, such as uh, building very intuitive responses, giving it great training data, all sorts of things. So stay tuned.